Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Tanner. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to create a D flip flop. Okay, uh, and we are going to create a D flip flop using NAND gate. And before uh, we won't be directly using NAND gate, we will be creating a symbol of the NAND gate, and then we will be uh, using that symbol to create a D flip flop. All right. So here on your screen, you can see the NAND gate symbol, uh, the NAND gate schematic. Okay, this we have already made in the previous videos. All right, so uh, let me just run the simulation once so that we can confirm that it is working fine. Then we are going to generate the symbol of this NAND gate and then we are going to use the uh, and then we are going to generate the symbol of this NAND gate and then we are going to use the NAND gate uh, uh, to make a D flip flop. So it is running fine till now and we can see we have the waveform and it is working fine. Alright, so our NAND gate is working fine. So now let us generate our symbol. So you need to go to cell, generate symbols. Alright, and here uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, I have actually created a separate library. You see in previous videos we were doing everything in the inverter library. And you can see there are our inverter symbol, inverter schematics, all everything. All right. Okay, uh, my mistake. <laughs> I created another library for this NAND gate and I created a new cell in the inverter itself. All right, that's my mistake. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me just. Okay, there is no save option. Let me just copy. And I will create a new cell, uh, new view. Okay, and here I forgot to change the library and I created a cell in the inverter itself. It's all right. So I will just name it as NAND SCH. Okay, and let me just paste this here. Yeah, I have pasted everything here. So let's just save it. And let's just run it quickly once more. Okay, I need to add this thing. Right. Yeah, just go to general, include your library files, and here you don't have to search it every time. So just add double T, okay, and click OK. Okay, so it is running already. That's great. Okay, I guess we have clicked on run. That's why. So that's great. It is running. There is no errors so far. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it is fine. So this is our schematic. And uh, actually, I have created a new library uh, with the name NAND so that uh, it does not just mix, get mixed up. Okay. So inverter is separate, now NAND gate is separate. Similarly, all, all of our designs will be separate and it will be easier to open and use them in future. All right, so now we are going to go to cell and generate symbols. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before that, we need to remove these probes. Okay, and in this case, uh, since we are going to, uh, you know, remove this, uh, since we are going to use the symbol to create another gate, uh, that's why we are going to use, uh, remove these things as well. That is these power sources I am going to remove as well. So this is our uh, only schematic here. Okay, with the inputs and outputs. That is A and B as input and Y as output. All right. So and we have the VDD and ground. So now I am going to save it. And here uh, within the NAND, I am going to generate the symbol of this. All right. So here uh, I'm going to select the library as NAND and I'm going to click replace. So we have, uh, you can see we have this A1, uh, A, B and Y and ground and VDD. These things we have. So uh, let's just save it first. All right. And now let's go to cell, create new view and uh, make sure to select the library as NAND and in the cell i'm going to select nand underscore syn and it will be a type of schematic so i'm going to click ok 
all right so here i am going to uh, just instance create an instance of this uh, nand symbol oops my bad yeah okay yeah this thing this thing we need to uh, take the instance of this is our symbol it is not allowing yeah so now here we have our instance of the nand gate all right so i will just uh, zoom into it so we can see here a b y and ground and vdd so here first of all let's uh, put the inputs so this is a this is b and our output that is y all right so here for ground we are going to give this as ground all right and now we have our vdd after that we need to give sources as well all right because you remember we removed the sources so basically the purpose of of removing the sources was because we need to use 3 4 and gates 3 uh, 4 nand gates in uh, in creating a d flip flop all right so if every nand gate have a separate source then uh, that would become a very complex kind of thing because we need to manage those 3 4 inputs because there should be only a single input for that uh, flip flop all right we will see that later so now uh, we will be providing the sources that is v bit for the input and there is a second v bit i am going to copy this ground and here also all right so this is our v bit and for our output that is vdc we have it here so here is our vdc and just copy this and here is our ground all right so there here is our symbol and we have all the sources now let us connect uh, connect the probes so that we can plot the voltages all right so here just create the instance so this is for print input voltage a okay let's keep it like this this is for b and this is for y all right okay so uh, this design is complete now let us run and see if it is working fine or not all right so okay once again we have to add this values so it will take a second yeah so here is our library files and it is running and here we have our waveform and we can see our design is working perfectly so our symbol of nand gate is working perfect all right so uh, this now this symbol we are going to use first of all let's save it now we are going to use this symbol uh, in our uh, design to make a d flip flop all right okay i mistakenly clicked on it once again so it is going to run once again okay uh, that's my bad and anyways uh, we can see the waveform easily because previously i closed it early so that's okay let it run all right so we can see here when the inputs are one the output is zero when the inputs are zero the output is one that is how uh, the nand gate is nand gate works 
all right so this is how our waveform is correct so we have created the NAND gate symbol and now we are going to use this symbol to create a D flip flop so uh, what I think that uh, this video uh, I guess I should stop this video right here and uh, I will uh, make uh, the D flip flop in the next video okay uh, I will keep this video limited to the NAND gate symbol generation okay and in the next video uh, I will create the D flip flop all right otherwise it will become a very long video so let's keep it short and uh, this is all for this video see you guys in the next video